Sunday. Week's gone, almost. Um, new week starts tomorrow, as the calendar seems to propose. And uh, so I thought I'd end the, uh, the week with a, a performance. Uh, you'll understand what it is when you hear it. This is from The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson in 1988. I'm playing along with this because I don't think this will get blocked, but if I played with the album track, it might get blocked. So I'm just doing a live performance. Here we go. James Taylor is a major force in music, one of the most popular and prolific songwriters of our time. This is his new album called Never Die Young. Would you welcome James Taylor?
It was really fun doing The Tonight Show. I loved, I loved every time I get a call to go down there. I did it a lot of times when Johnny Carson was the host and then did it a lot of times when Jay Leno was the host on it. But um, that was really fun doing that. I loved that album, uh, Never Die Young with James Taylor. We cut it at the power station in New York City. Uh, I think Frank Filippetti was the engineer on it. And, um, but when we did the, the show, the band on the show was James and myself and the late, great, great, great Carlos Vega, the late, great, great Don Grolnick, uh, Dan Dugmore um, was on guitar, Bob Mann was on guitar, Arnold McCuller and Rosemary Butler singing background. I think that was, was the lineup on it. But it was always fun because we always did those shows live. There was no, you know, playing the track or any of that crap. Uh, it was like the real deal. And uh, so that was really fun. But we really had a great time doing that album in New York. Uh, it was just a really great period musically with James. And uh, hung, out, hung out a lot. We had Ed Kolakowski with us, who was our guitar piano tech. And Ed and I were like the Siamese twins together on, uh, in the studio and on the road. We really hung a lot. And... Uh, uh, he was a re remarkable uh, technician for us. He really saved the day so many times and uh, has since moved to Marbella, Spain, and he's quite happy and content over there. Um, it was fun yesterday having the live the, the stream go out for the immediate family. Um, I hope whoever saw it enjoyed it. Um, I'm so anxious for the album because the album has such great songs on it. Um, this was a this was a, a teaser. But the album is just ridiculously good, but it won't be out till after the uh, first of the year. We're trying to dial it in to be released with the documentary that Denny Tedesco is filming about us. So we'll see what happens with that. And then I spent a chunk of yesterday doing my one-on-ones with the fan club uh, members, the, the clubhouse members, doing Skype and FaceTime with them. And I love catching up with everybody. It's, there's so many regulars now that we kind of pick up where we left off the previous month, and that's really um, fun to do. Uh, it's becoming this really intricate little community. Um, this morning, I'm, I was online setting up a, a postal account for shipping the books. <laughs> it's like every day there's the business side of me that's never existed before has to rear its ugly head and, and start dealing with all this stuff. I have to get my tax stuff and my California franchise tax information going and, uh, and all this. But if I get it all lined up really well, then it'll be pretty seamless once I get started. And it won't be quite as chaotic as I'm, I, I fear for. <laughs> but, but, um, so that'll be soon. Uh, I'll keep you posted. We sh we're really close to opening the website, and then books can be ordered at that point. And, uh, and, it'll, and it'll take care of everything, and everything will be explained on that. Um, let me think. I think I'm just going to run to the... I need some groceries. I'm going to run to the market and take care of some shopping. I walked the dogs this morning, did a little work outside, still a little bit warm, so I'm kind of... Uh, Gonna ignore that, but have to go to the nursery and return a, an azalea. I bought five azaleas, and for some reason, th four of them are thriving, and one of them is dead as a doornail. But the uh, nursery always goes, look, you know, bring back anything that dies, and we'll replace it. So I'm gonna head back over there and get a new azalea, come back and plant that in the afternoon when it's cooled off a bit, and then I'll figure out something for tomorrow. But um, and as far as, you know, please don't think I'm like completely tweaked out of my mind when I get blocked. I, I, I'm blocked out. Of, when I get blocked, it's just disappointing. Um, and not even so much that I've told a brilliant, a brilliant genius, best I've ever told story about that project. Um, but I, I can understand, you know, I can understand when things are monitored and say I, say I was doing an indie movie. And I, and I took an Eva Cassidy song and put it in the movie without permission, then I can see them coming after me at that point because that is, that is not how it's supposed to be. But in, in the situation of just doing this YouTube channel, 
um, I, I, I gain financially zero benefit from it. The publishing company, the label, and maybe her estate would make the money on it. And also it would uh, expose people that were unaware of Eva Cassidy or any of these other artists um, to new music, which then they might actually go and purchase and keep the, um, the memory and the music alive. Um, that's where I don't understand. There's, there's such a weird line um, between these things. I completely understand the one side of protecting things so people don't get ripped off, but they're actually, by not letting them get ripped off, internally ripping them off by not allowing people to hear them or, monet, you know, or them to be able to monetize their, their art. So, but I'm not, I don't sit here and, and get myself a break out in hives or anything with conniptions. It's, it's just really disappointing that that's the way this all functions because I'm only using this as an edu really kind of an educational tool to turn people on to music they're maybe um, unfamiliar with. And uh, so we'll see, we'll see how all this pays out. But I, I didn't want to take a chance today because uh, I could have played along with the album version of Never Die Young, but I've had issues with James Taylor's stuff when we had Smile and Face, so I had to go dig up a live performance, and for some reason a live performance doesn't trigger the same bells and whistles that a, rec that a performance um, video does. So I'm, 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 I, I just covered the floor in here with, with eggshells and I'm dancing gingerly upon them, not to crush too many. So, so that be that, um, keep, an eye, keep an eye on that note. Don't look at him, look at the note. It's really important. Get out and vote. Please get out and vote. It is the most critical time for this country. And uh, I think it's, it's absolutely imperative that you express your, um, your opinion and your desires through your vote. Um, so um, it's going to sit there until after the election. And then I'll put some other sign on there that'll probably get me kicked off of here. But that's a whole other discussion. Um, Thank you again on the weekend to all the people who haven't had a weekend because they're working to try to keep us afloat. Um, numbers are soaring. I mean, really going up. Uh, it's really so tragic. And it's not just in the States. It's all over the world. Numbers are starting to go up again. It's getting into that the winter time. And uh, they warned that that would be when like the second wave might hit. I don't even think we're out of our first wave. But, uh, but it's starting to uh, increase. I think my chair has been talking to the, well, it's not so bad, I think maybe it was talking to the chair downstairs that is always squeaking during my, my uh, live stream. But Okay, well look at I hope you all, if your weekend's almost over, I hope you had a great weekend. If your weekend is still early, you know, midday on Sunday, um, enjoy the rest of it and then have a fabulous week ahead. You know, do as best you can to, you know, take care of yourself, stay safe, uh, be safe with family and friends. And, uh, and someday we will be looking at this in a rear view mirror and, uh, and be grateful to have survived it. So uh, take good care and I will see you next week, like tomorrow. I'll find another ditty for us. So bye-bye.